Good morning everyone. In this video, we are going to cover the current affairs. For mobile optimized ebooks, please install GK Today Academy app. For regular updates, please join our Telegram channel. The link is given in the description box. Revision PDF are uploaded on this Telegram channel. We have started a new channel Civils Academy. You can subscribe to it if you find it relevant. Now, let's start. Which organization recently deployed its all women team for contingency duties? Contingency means a kind of emergency responsibilities. So, this has been done by NDRF, that is National Disaster Response Force. So, NDRF has deployed all female team for contingency duties in Uttar Pradesh and to be specific, it is de deployed in Mukteshwar town on the banks of river Ganga. Now, what is NDRF? It is a statutory body. Statutory mo means actually this is going to be force. National Disaster Response Force. Swasthvayu, a non-invasive ventilator, was developed by which organization? So, it has been developed by CSIR. And to be specific, it has been developed by a laboratory of CSIR. And it is NAL, that is National Aerospace Laboratory. So, CSIR NAL has developed this non-invasive ventilator. The name of ventilator is Swasthvayu. Now, what exactly is ventilator? See. Ventilator is a device that blow air with extra oxygen. So, when there is a problem of oxygen in patient's body, then ventilators are used. So, these ventilators are the devices which provide oxygen to the patient. Which institution is to conduct the National Cow Science Examination? So, the intention behind this initiative is to educate people or to educate students on the importance of cows. And this will be conducted by R. KA that is Rashtriya Kam Dhenu Ayog. So Rashtriya Kam Dhenu Ayog is going to conduct national cow science examination to educate students about the importance of cow. And this examination will be organized annually that means once in a year. And this RKA that is Rashtriya Kam Dhenu Ayog is a government body under Ministry of Fisheries, Animal Husbandry and Daring. DRDO that is Defense Research and Development Organization is to establish biodigester MK2 technology in which states metro rail network. Now, few important points. First, it will be done by DRDO, that is Defense Research and Development Organization. And it will be done for the metro rail network in Maharashtra, that is Maha Metro. Now, what is the meaning of this term biodigester? See, in metro, there are toilets and to treat the human waste in these metro rail network, these biodigesters will be used. So these are eco-friendly. First thing first, these are eco-friendly. That means environment friendly. They are not going to harm the environment. Second is that they will be used for the treatment of human waste. So these eco-friendly biodigester units by DRDO will be installed in Maharashtra Metro Rail Network. Uzala and SLNP schemes, which completed six years, are implemented by which ministry? So these are two schemes and these are implemented by Ministry of Power. Now what is Uzala scheme? It is Unnat Jyoti by Affordable LED for All. So this is the name of scheme Unnat Jyoti by Affordable LED for All. So as the name suggests, under the scheme, the LED bulbs and LED street lights will be distributed to save the energy. And who is going to distribute this? This will be done by EE. SL that is Energy Efficiency Services Limited. So this is under Ministry of Power. As for the World Bank GEP report, GEP stands for Global Economic Prospectus Report. What is the estimated GDP growth in the fiscal year 2021 to 22? So recently Global Economic Prospectus report was released and this is a report by World Bank. So as per this report in 2021, the global economic growth is going to be 4%. It is going to be 2021. And India's growth is going to be 5.4%. So this is going to be the growth of India. And globally, the growth is going to be 4%. And next year, India will grow at a rate of 5.2%. What is the minimum market value of a startup company which is termed as a unicorn company? So those startups which have a value over 1 billion US dollars, such startup companies are considered as unicorn company. So recently this term was in use because of 
speech by India's ambassador to USA. Who is India's ambassador to USA? He is Mr. Taranjit Singh Santhu. So as per his statement, India is the current third largest startup ecosystem. That means startup companies prefer to set up their business in India. And India is home to 21 unicorn companies. Unicorn companies are those companies which are startup companies and they have market valuation over 1 billion US dollars. So as of now, India is home to 21 startup companies valued at 73.2 billion dollars. That means total valuation of these 21 startup companies is 73.2 billion. The Oxford University has developed a survey of which animal using satellite imagery and artificial intelligence. So Oxford University has developed a survey of African elephants using satellite information and using artificial intelligence. Recently, this Oxford University was also in use because of Covishield. So Covishield is a vaccine by Serum Institute of India, Oxford University and AstraZeneca, which is the first urban cooperative bank in India to be converted into SFC, that is Small Finance Bank. So this is Siwalik Mercantile Cooperative Bank. Recently, this became the first urban cooperative bank of India to be converted into Small Finance Bank. Now what is the difference between Small Finance Bank and Regular Bank? See, in layman's term, Small Finance Bank are going to operate in small area. They will provide all the services like Regular Bank, but they will operate in a smaller area. So this Shivalik Cooperative Bank is a cooperative bank in Uttar Pradesh and its headquarters is in Saharanpur. Which two states are the first to complete the three out of four citizen-centric reforms directed by the finance ministry? So what is this entire scenario? See, finance ministry said to the states that if you are going to implement these reforms, we will provide you money for the capital expenditure, that is capex. That means you can use this money for infrastructure development in your state. But for this money, you will have to do certain reforms in your state. So three major reforms which was suggested by the finance ministry were one nation, one Russian card. Second scheme is ease of doing business reforms. Third scheme was urban local bodies reforms. Now, Madhya Pradesh and Andhra Pradesh became the first two states to implement these three citizen-centric reforms suggested by the finance ministry. Therefore, the finance ministry decided to provide financial assistance of 1,004 crore rupees for capital expenditure. Which union ministry launched the Longitudinal Aging Survey of India, that is LASI report? So this has been released by Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, present health minister is Dr. Harshwardhan. So this is the survey of the aging population in our country. How many wildlife species are under recovery program for critically endangered species in India? So 22 species, that is 22 wildlife species are under recovery program for critically endangered species. Which high court recently ruled that advertisement of any article using the name of any god is illegal? So this has been ruled by Bombay High Court. Actually a petition was filed to prevent the advertisements that promote the sale of articles like Hanuman Chalisa Yantra. So these articles were sold in the name of God that these articles are, are having some divine powers because of the blessing of God. So that's why the Bombay High Court and to be specific the Aurangabad bench of Bombay High Court ruled that this is illegal. Who is the head of panel for conserving Ladakh's land and culture. So recently government of India decided to form a committee to protect the land, culture, language of Ladakh. And this committee will be headed by MOS, that is Minister of State for Home Affairs, G. Kishan Reddy. Now in our constitution also there is an article which provide the right to conserve CLS, that is to conserve culture, language or script. Answer in comment box which article of our constitution provide the right to conserve the language, script or culture. Which country has claimed that the equalization levy in India as discriminatory? So this country is USA. This equalization levy is also known as Google tax. It is also known as DST that is digital service tax. Which organization released the World Food Price 
index so this has been released by fao that is food and agriculture organization it has released the world food price index this fao is a united nations organization headquarters of fao is in rome rome is in italy which country launched the world's first double stack long haul container train so this has been launched by india as prime minister recently inaugurated world's first double stack long haul container train and this is a part of wdfc that is western dedicated freight corridor and this train is on rewadi madar section and this is a part of wdfc that is western dedicated freight corridor and dfcil that is dedicated freight corridor corporation of india is constructing this western and eastern dedicated freight corridor who is the chairperson of academic advisory council recently set up by the reserve bank of india so ns viswanathan is going to be the chairperson of this advisory council to advise the rbi's cos that is college of supervisors and this advisory council will be headed by ns viswanathan this advisory council is going to advise to the college of supervisors indo american dr raj ayer has been named as the first chief information officer of army of which country so this country is usa recently dr raj ayer has been named as the first chief information officer of us army recently us was in news as twitter suspended the twitter account of us president donald trump fatah one which was successfully tested is the indigenous rocket system of which country so it is indigenous rocket system of pakistan name is fatah one capital of pakistan is islamabad prime minister is imran khan recently pakistan was also in news because of azad patan hydel power project so pakistan and china are collaborating for this hydel power project please note that it is in pakistan occupied jammu and kashmir which country is to chair the taliban and libya sanctions committee and the counter terrorism committee of united nations security council so india is going to chair these three committees one is taliban sanctions committee another is libya sanctions committee and third is counter terrorism committee of united nations security council india started its tenure of 2 years as a non permanent member of this united nations security council total 15 members are there in unsc out of which 5 are permanent and 10 are elected for a tenure of 2 years now this taliban sanctions committee is also known as 1988 sanctions committee who is the head of labor ministries commission which recommended a basic living wage so recently this commission was in news and it was created by labor ministry and this was a one member commission and it was caclb what is caclb it is central advisory contract labor board so this was constituted to prepare action plan for the welfare of contract workers specifically during this pandemic situation pioneers is a program of which country's space agency so it is related to nasa nasa is the space agency of usa nasa stands for national aeronautics and space administration so the objective of this initiative is research on astrophysics now recently nasa approved for such small scale astrophysics mission as a part of this program and these four concepts include small satellites named aspera pandora starburst and balloon mission and this balloon mission is named as pu eo so all these four initiatives are part of this pioneers initiative and this is a program by nasa nasa is the space agency of usa the president has promulgated an ordinance to merge the officers of which cadre with agmut cadre so for all india services there is a cadre system in our country and different states have different cadre for some states there is common cadre one such is agmut it is cadre for arunachal pradesh goa mizoram and union territory now recently president promulgated an ordinance to merge jammu and kashmir with this that means now the officers of all india services from this cadre will be able to work in jammu and kashmir and vice versa which state has announced to launch the country's first solar electric roll on roll off service so this roro stands for roll on roll off this has been announced by kerala and this is going to be the country's first solar electric service 
role on role of service apart from that kerala will also start amphibious water bus with civic body of india has launched the period room initiative for improving menstrual hygiene of women so this has been done by thane municipal corporation this is in maharashtra the name of initiative is period room it is to improve the menstrual hygiene of women so this room will have all the necessary facilities for women the idea is to break the stigma around periods with state launched krishi sanjeevani vans to test soil water and to provide remedies for pest control so this initiative has been launched by karnataka so these vans will have the facility to test the soil and to test the water so that it can be determined that what kind of nutrients are needed it will also provide remedies for pest control name of initiative is krishi sanjeevani who is the chairperson of advisory council set up by rbi to manage the pidf what is pidf it is payment infrastructure development fund and this council will be headed by bp kanungo recently rbi announced operational guidelines for this pidf that is payment infrastructure development fund so this fund will be used for improving the infrastructure for digital payments and this will be done in tier 3 to tier 6 cities and to manage this one recently rbi decided to constitute an advisory council and this is going to be under rbi deputy governor bp kanungo as per the recent announcement of lok sabha speaker which campaign is to be undertaken in the schools and colleges so the name of campaign is know your constitution who is our present lok sabha speaker he is om birla so recently mr speaker announced that the government is going to start a campaign name of campaign is know your constitution as per the recent guidelines by ugc that is university grants commission the institutes of eminence can open how many foreign campuses so recently it was in news because ugc that is university grants commission in hindi it is vishwavidyalaya anudan ayog so ugc has issued guidelines for the institutions of eminence now guidelines are regarding the fact that these institutions can open the campus in foreign countries so in next 5 years these universities can open three campus in foreign countries ireda is an organization under which ministry so first thing first this ireda is different from irda so what is ireda it is indian renewable energy development agency limited and it is under mnre that is ministry of new and renewable energy please note that this ireda is a psu that is public sector undertaking and it is a mini ratna psu which country asked the members of wto to find solution to public stock holding for food security so first thing first it is related to wto that is world trade organization recently the final session of india's 7th trade policy review that is tpr was organized in geneva so two important points first is what is tpr it is trade policy review so recently india's 7th trade policy review was concluded in geneva which institution revealed that over half of indian army personnel are under severe stress so recently a study was conducted by union service institution of india it is a think tank and the headquarters is in new delhi so as per the study by this think tank over half of the indian army personnel are under severe stress a report also revealed that army has been losing more personnel due to suicides and other incidents than in the situations of enemy activities so this is something which we need to think about the embassy of which country has appointed a honorary consul in northeast region so this has been done by israel the idea is to improve the cooperation with the northeast states of our country that means india that means israel is going to increase its focus or increase its cooperation with the northeast states of india and for that purpose embassy of israel in india please note embassy of israel in india has appointed joyshree das varma as honorary consul in northeast region a portal has been launched for the sale of items under 
AFD1 category. The question is, it is related to which ministry? So it is related to MOD, that is Ministry of Defense. Recently, Defense Minister Rajnath Singh launched this portal and this is for the sale of items under AFD1 category. Now, what is this AFD1 category? It stands for Against Firm Demand. So these items will be sold on this portal and this will be done through canteen stores. So this AFD1 category will have expensive items including washing machine, microwave ovens, refrigerators and air conditioners. India reviewed its bilateral cooperation with which country in the field of hydrocarbons and steel sector. So India reviewed its bilateral cooperation agreement with Mongolia and recently a joint committee discussed the matters of bilateral cooperation. From Indian side, Petroleum Minister Dharmendra Pradhan represented India and during the meeting, Mr. Pradhan also confirmed that India is going to work on the Mongol refinery project. The capital of Mongolia is Ulan Batar. Which Indian organization is to raise 1 lakh crore through asset monetization? So this will be done by NHAI that is National Highway Authority of India. NHAI is under Ministry of Road Transport and Highways. Present Minister is Nitin Gadkari. So it is going to raise 1 lakh crore through asset monetization and this is going to monetize highways under TO T mode. What is TOT? It is Toll, Operate, Transfer. Union Home Minister is set to launch the single window clearance system for which sector? So this is for coal mines. So this is going to be a single window clearance system for coal mines. Now what is the meaning of this term single window clearance system? That means this will be a single platform to provide all the clearances related to coal mines. Present coal minister is Prahlad Joshi. Present Home Minister is Amit Shah. The first edition of National Youth Parliament Festival was held in which year? So it was held in 2019. Now every year National Youth Day is celebrated on 12th of January. Now why 12th of January? Because it is the birth anniversary of Swami Vivekananda. And on this occasion we celebrate National Youth Day. Nesta and Diksha are the initiatives of which union ministry? So these are the initiatives of MOE, that is Ministry of Education. Previously, it was MHRD, that is Ministry of Human Resource Development. Now it is Ministry of Education. So what is NISTA? NISTA is for capacity building. So it is for the capacity building of teachers. Brahma Sarthi buses were recently launched by which Indian state? So these were recently launched by Assam government. These are the pink buses for women and senior citizens. And recently, this free transport service has been introduced by ASTC. What is ASTC? It is Assam State Transport Corporation. So ASTC has started this free transport service for women and for senior citizens. And this has been launched in the city of Guwahati. Storm Philomena, which was in news recently, has hit which country? So recently, Spain was in news because of this storm Philomena. Capital of Spain is Madrid. Recently, Madrid was in news because it was the host of COP25. COP stands for Conference of Parties. This is related to UNFCCC, that is United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change. The DRDO handed over its landing gear system for unmanned aerial vehicles to which armed force. So DRDO handed over the system to Indian Navy. What is DRDO? It is Defense Research and Development Organization. It is under Ministry of Defense. Present Minister is Rajnath Singh. A new species of which insect has been recently named after Siruvani? Siruvani is an ecological hotspot in the Western Ghat. So recently, a new species of fruit fly has been named after Siruvani. Siruvani is an ecological hotspot in Western Ghats. Actually, recently, Siruvani Hills in Tamil Nadu was identified as Butterfly Super Hotspot. Prarambh is a summit related to which scheme? So, it is related to Startup. Startup is a scheme by Commerce Ministry. On the other hand, Stand Up is a scheme by Finance Ministry. So, Stand Up was launched to provide opportunities to the vulnerable section of society 
to set up their business. So recently this program was in use as DPIIT that is Department for Promotion of Industry and Internal Trade is going to organize this program and this is Startup India International Summit. Which countries Space Agency is to test fire the space launch system and this is the most powerful rocket ever built. So this will be done by USA. Space Agency of USA is NASA that is National Aeronautics and Space Administration. So this SLS is the most powerful rocket ever built and it is the core system of NASA's Artemis program. Which organization is to adopt 100 Atal Tinkering Labs across the country to promote STEM education. Now first thing first, what is STEM? It is Science, Technology, Engineering and Mathematics. So AIM that is Atal Innovation Mission and ISRO are going to collaborate and as per this collaboration, ISRO is going to adopt 100 Atal Tinkering Labs. The Heritage Conservation Committee is headed by official of which union ministry? So this Heritage Conservation Committee is headed by the additional secretary of Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs. So why this committee was in use? See recently Supreme Court approved this Central Vista project and Supreme Court said that for this project the government need approval from this Heritage Conservation Committee and that is why this committee was in use. This committee is headed by the additional secretary of Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs. What percentage of total geographic area of India is occupied by protected areas? So it is 5 percentage. Recently MOEFCC that is Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change released MEE. What is MEE? It is Management Effectiveness Evaluation. So recently this Environment Ministry released the Management Effective Evaluation of approximately 146 National Parks and Wildlife Sanctuaries. Which is the first Northeast state to complete urban local bodies reforms and was approved for additional borrowing. So it is Manipur. Recently Union Government mentioned four reforms in order to incentivize states. So these four reforms are One Nation, One Russian Card, Ease of Doing Business, Urban Local Bodies, Reforms and fourth one is Power Sector. Recently Manipur became the first Northeast state to complete the Urban Local Bodies reforms and therefore central government provided additional concession to Manipur. USA has recently named which country as the state sponsor of terrorism? So recently USA designated Cuba as a state sponsor of terrorism. Recently USA removed Sudan from the list of state sponsors of terrorism. USA was also in news as recently US President Donald Trump was impeached by the House of Representatives of USA. And Donald Trump is the first president in the history of USA to be impeached twice. Where is the stockpile of Ebola vaccine established by International Coordinating Group on Vaccine Provision? So this is in Switzerland. So what is this? ICG that is International Coordinating Group on Vaccine Provision. So ICG includes WHO, UNICEF, Red Cross Society and MSF which is popularly known as Doctors Without Borders. Niti Aayog has partnered with which e-commerce company to launch revamped women entrepreneurship platform. So for this purpose Niti Aayog has collaborated with Flipkart. So now the objective of this platform is to provide opportunities to the women for entrepreneurship in our country. Niti Aayog is an executive body. Executive body are those bodies which are neither mentioned in the constitution nor they are backed by any statute or any law. FSR that is Financial Stability Report is released by which organization? So it is released by our central bank that is Reserve Bank of India. So. In this FSR, RBI has predicted that gross NP that is non-performing asset of banks may rise. In September 2020, this ratio was approximately 7.5 percentage but in September 2021, this may rise to 13.5 percentage. So you can see that there is a significant rise in non-performing asset. BW that is Bureau of Energy Efficiency is a statutory body under which ministry? So 
it is under ministry of power now these questions related to the administrative structure like which organization is under which ministry these questions are very very important for different examinations for administrative jobs so this is under ministry of power why it was in news recently because it organized national energy conservation awards please note that bw is a statutory body and bw implement the policies for energy conservation and every year on 14th of december energy conservation day is celebrated and bw is operating as per the provisions of energy conservation act of 2001 which body had changed the church law allowing women to read gospel in church so this has been changed by pope francis however please note that he reaffirmed that women can't be priest in church however he specifically reaffirmed that women can't be priest in church but now women can read gospel in church previously it was not allowed so these were the most important questions now we are going to cover important news events so first is related to new zealand as recently new zealand became the top country in the cricket rankings of test matches so in test new zealand is on top position previously australia was on top position now new zealand is on top second e- event is related to surat municipal corporation so surat is in gujarat and surat municipal corporation was in news as it has decided to set up india's first of its kind migrant worker cell that means now the municipal corporation of surat will create a database of migrant workers so this is a first of its kind initiative by the municipal corporation in our country next is solidarity and stability deal so recently this deal was signed during the gcc summit gcc stands for gulf cooperation council so this deal was signed to end the diplomatic rift between qatar and saudi arab the members of gcc are bahrain kuwait oman qatar saudi arabia and uae please note that even yemen is a neighboring country but yemen is not the member of gcc gcc stands for gulf cooperation council the headquarters of gcc is in riyadh in saudi arabia next is northeast first ever ginger processing plant so it is in meghalaya actually this is old plant but it was non functional so this plant was set up in 2004 it was non functional now steps are taken to make it functional that's why it was in use and it is first ever ginger processing plant in northeast and it is in meghalaya next is bazaar alliance so recently bazaar alliance partnered with jammu and kashmir government to launch the health insurance coverage under pradhan mantri jan aarogya yojana sehat sehat stands for social endeavor for health and telemedicine and the telemedicine initiative of health ministry is sanjeevani what is telemedicine it means providing medical facilities or medical services through internet or through telephonic services next is india's first cultural diplomat to usa so he was dr moxraz now let me give you its brief background so to make different countries aware about india's culture iccr that is indian council for cultural relations sent people to different countries these people were sent to make countries aware about india's culture so recently india's first cultural diplomat to usa dr moxraz was in news he spread the traditional indian culture in the many states in usa so this was an initiative by iccr that is in council for cultural relations next is tri food parks so for tri food parks in madhya pradesh tri fed which is under mota that is ministry of tribal affairs collaborated with akhil bhartiya vanwasi kalyan ashram next is pidf that is payment infrastructure development fund so recently rbi issued guidelines or operational guidelines for pidf actually it is a 500 crore rupees fund out of which 250 crore will be provided by reserve bank of india and rest 250 will be provided by the banks so this is for the payment infrastructure development across the tier 3 to tier 6 cities next is bob brett so bob brett who was a tennis coach in australia passed away recently next is fustin a change so recently fustin a change became the president of central african republic next is abhishek yadav so recently mr yadav became the first deputy general secretary of aiff aiff stands for all india football federation world day of 
वॉर और फंड सो इट इज ऑब्जर्व ऑन सिक्स ऑफ जनवरी सुधांशु धूलिया सो रिसेंटली जस्टिस सुधांशु धूलिया बिकेम द चीफ जस्टिस ऑफ गुवाहाटी हाईकोर्ट ऑन द अदर हैंड जस्टिस आर एस चौहान दैट इज राघविंदर सिंह चौहान बिकेम द चीफ जस्टिस ऑफ उत्तराखंड हाईकोर्ट ऑन द अदर हैंड रिसेंटली सुबोध कुमार जयसवाल बिकेम द डीजी दैट इज डायरेक्टर जनरल ऑफ सी आई एस एफ सी आई एस एफ एज अंडर एम एच ए दैट इज मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ होम अफेयर वॉट इज सी आई एस एफ इट इज सेंट्रल इंडस्ट्रियल सिक्योरिटी फोर्स नेक्स्ट इज जे के महेश्वरी सो रिसेंटली जे के महेश्वरी दैट इज जितेंद्र कुमार महेश्वरी बिकेम द न्यू चीफ जस्टिस ऑफ सिक्किम हाईकोर्ट नेक्स्ट जोया अग्रवाल सो सी इज ए कैप्टन इन एयर इंडिया रिसेंटली एन ओल्ड वुमेन टीम ऑफ एयर इंडिया फ्लू ओवर नॉर्थ पोल ऑन वर्ल्ड लॉन्गेस्ट एयर रूट रूट इज फ्रॉम सैन फ्रांसिस्को to bangalore san francisco is in usa bangalore is in india so this was world's longest air route and air india pilot captain joya agarwal was the in charge of this flight next is madhav singh solanki so mr solanki passed away recently he was the former chief minister of gujarat he had served as the chief minister of gujarat for four times next is elon musk so recently he became the world's richest person previously Jeff Bezos of Amazon was the world's richest person. Now Elon Musk, Elon Musk was also in news because of SpaceX, Tesla. Tesla is going to start its operations in India this year. Recently, this was announced by Ministry of Road Transport and Highways. Next is India's first indoor ski park. So this is going to be in Kofri in Shimla. Shimla is in Himachal Pradesh. And for this, recently Himachal Pradesh government signed MOU with Nagsan Developers. next is stark nagrik that means alert citizen so this is an initiative by jammu and kashmir administration present lg that is lieutenant governor of jammu and kashmir is manoj sinha next is my pad my right project so recently this project was in news as central bank of india collaborated with nub foundation for this project to provide the working capital to the self help groups for this my pad my right project now this nab foundation is an entity of nabard so this provide funding to various projects next is konkani academy so delhi government is going to set up this konkani academy in delhi konkani is one of the languages mentioned in 8th schedule and in 8th schedule there are total 22 languages it is the official language that means konkani is the official language of goa next is vishwa hindi divas so this is celebrated on 10th of january it is celebrated since 2006 please note that hindi divas is celebrated on 14th of september and vishu hindi divas is on 10th of january next is research in quantum computing so for this purpose wipro and tel aviv university of israel decided to collaborate for research in quantum computing recently drdo successfully established quantum communications between two of its labs last initiative is paiso ko roko mat so this is an initiative or an awareness campaign by idfc mutual funds sagar anveshika so recently this coastal research vessel was inaugurated by dr harshwardhan why dr harshwardhan because he is the minister of earth sciences and this is a project of ministry of earth sciences and recently this coastal research vehicle sagar anveshika was launched at chennai port next is vanadium so this is a high value metal this vanadium was in use because gsi that is geological survey of india carried out an exploration and as per that exploration vanadium was found in arunachal pradesh what is vanadium it is a high value metal what is gsi it is geological survey of india it is under ministry of mines headquarters of gsi is in kolkata in west bengal answer in comment box where is the headquarters of geological survey of india next is Malla Gela, Alla Patna. So this is the name of place in Mandya district of Karnataka. Recently, it was in news because lithium reserves were found in this Karnataka's Mandya district. And the name of specific places is Malla Gela, Alla Patna. Next is Faustin Archange. So recently, he became the president of Central African Republic. Actually, he got re-elected as the president of Central African Republic. Next is making of a journal a. Himalayan Eco. So this is a book by Lieutenant General Konsam Himalaya Singh. Next is Boris Johnson. So recently he was in news because previous because previously he was supposed to be 
our chief guest for Republic Day ceremony. But later, he cancelled this. So now, the president of Suriname is going to be our chief guest for Republic Day ceremony. He is Chandrika Prashad Shantokhi. Next is heavy snowfall. So recently, Jammu and Kashmir declared heavy snowfall as a natural calamity. That means now, Jammu and Kashmir will be able to use fund from SDRF, that is State Disaster Response Fund, in the instances of heavy snowfall. SDRF and NDRF are under Disaster Management Act. NDRF is at national level. It is National Disaster Response Fund. SDRF is at state level. Last news is related to POTUS, that is President of United States. So this term POTUS was in news because of Twitter activity as recently Twitter deleted the new tweets posted by US President on the official government account. So this POTUS is the official government account of President of United States. Twitter also suspended the personal account of US President. The one planet summit so it was hosted by france and this is for the conservation of biodiversity and nature recently this one planet summit was organized virtually now in this context and in during this summit france highlighted that the high ambition coalition for nature and people which was launched in 2019 now it has been joined by 50 countries so this coalition that is high ambition coalition for nature and people this was launched in 2019 and this was launched by Costa Rica, France and Britain. Why this was launched? So the objective of this coalition was to protect at least 30% of the planet by 2030. Why it was in news recently? Because during this one planet summit, French president announced that this coalition has been joined by 50 countries. Next is Jai Shah. So Jai Shah is the present secretary of BCCI. What is BCCI? It is Board of Control for Cricket in India. Now, Jai Shah has been named as the official representative of BCCI in ICC. What is ICC? It is International Cricket Council. So previously, BCCI President Saurabh Ganguly was the representative in ICC. Now, Jai Shah is going to be representative in ICC. Next is Sea Vizel 21. So this is a maritime exercise and it was coordinated by Indian Navy. This was the second edition of this exercise. Now, this is a build-up exercise for TROPEX. TROPEX is conducted after every two years. What is the full form of TROPEX? It is theater-level readiness operational exercise. This is also conducted by Indian Navy. That means Indian Navy is the key player. Next is free data card. So, in this pandemic situation, most of the classes are going online. So to provide support to the students, Tamil Nadu government is going to provide free data cards to the students so that they can attend online classes. And for this purpose, 2 GB data will be provided every day by the state government. And this is going to be free data. Next is Empower Panel for COVID-19 Vaccine. So recently, Union government has constituted this panel and it is headed by RS Sarma. This is a panel for COVID-19 vaccine. Next is Gazing Eastwards. So this is the name of book. Actually, the full name is too much lengthy. You need not to remember that. Just remember the keyword. Gazing Eastwards is a book by historian Romila Thapa. Next is Agnes Kileti. So Agnes Kileti is the oldest living Olympic champion. Recently, she was in news because she celebrated her 100th birthday. Next is Country in Focus. So in IFFI, that is International Film Festival of India. This year, Bangladesh is the country of focus. And this year, it is the 51st edition of IFFI, that is International Film Festival of India. And it is going to be in Goa. Next is Khadi Prakritik. So recently, KVIC, that is Khadi and Village Industries Commission, launched this eco-friendly paint. Name of eco-friendly paint is Khadi Prakritik. It has been launched by KVIC, that is Khadi and Village Industries Commission. KVIC is under MSME Ministry and present MSME Ministry is Nitin Gadkari. Nitin Gadkari is also the present Minister of Road Transport and Highways. Now, to promote road safety, we are going to celebrate Road Safety Month and this month will be celebrated from 18th of January to 17th of February. Now, coming back to this Khadi Prakritik, so this is eco-friendly, non-toxic paint and it is going to be antifungal and antibacterial. Now, one important thing is that the key ingredient for this paint is cow dung. Vasant Dada Nagari Shahkari Bank. So recently, RBI cancelled its license. It is a Maharashtra-based bank. Next is 
Tenjin Lake Pal. So Tenjin Lake Pal is from Bhutan, and recently Tenjin Lake Pal became the Secretary General of BIMSTEC. What is BIMSTEC? It is Bay of Bengal Initiative for Multi-Sectoral Technical and Economic Cooperation. The Secretary of BIMSTEC is in Dhaka, and the members of BIMSTEC are BBIN, MTS, that is Bangladesh, Bhutan, India, Nepal, Myanmar, Thailand, and Sri Lanka. Next is paperless budget. So, as per the media reports, this year's budget is going to be paperless, and because of the pandemic situation. This time halwa ceremony may be skipped. So halwa ceremony is related to budget. That's it from exam perspective. You need not to know much more. Usually halwa is made during budget time. Halwa is a sweet dish. Next is India's first fire park. So this is going to be in Bhuneshwar. And recently, Odisha Chief Minister Navin Patnaik inaugurated India's first fire park in Bhuneshwar. Next is Nubra Valley. So this is in Leh. And recently, it was in news because first ever ice climbing festival was celebrated in Nubra Valley in Leh. Next is Sadar Japaro. So recently, he won the presidential elections in Kyrgyzstan. The capital of Kyrgyzstan is Bishkek. Next is Armed Forces Veterans Day. So it is on 14th of January. On the other hand, Army Day is celebrated on 15th of January. Next is. D Prakash Rao so recently D Prakash Rao passed away he was social activist next is Tesla so Tesla is a company by Elon Musk recently Tesla has registered a fully owned subsidiary in Bengaluru in Karnataka next is Subhash Chandra Khuntia so recently IRDAI that is insurance regulator has set up a panel to examine the availability of health insurance products and this panel will be headed by Subhash Chandra IRDAI stands for Insurance Regulatory and Development Authority. Next is Jayant Kumar Das. So recently, RBI constituted a six-member committee to regulate or to prevent the digital lending frauds, and this committee will be headed by Jayant Kumar Das. Next is Prisica Medicamentos. So it is an entity from Brazil. Recently, it has signed agreement with Bharat Biotech. Now, Bharat Biotech is going to provide vaccines. What is the name of vaccine by Bharat Biotech? It is Covaxin. What is the name of vaccine by Serum Institute of India? It is Covshield. Recently, these two vaccines were approved by government. Next is the Population Myth. So, it is a book by former Chief Election Commissioner Mr. S. Y. Kureishi. Next is Ved Prakash Mehta. So, he was Indo-American novelist and journalist, and he passed away recently. Alexander Ellis has been appointed as new British High Commissioner to. India. Next is Hema Kohli. So recently, Justice Hema Kohli became the first woman Chief Justice of Telangana High Court. Next is Arup Kumar Goswami. So recently, he became the Chief Justice of Andhra Pradesh High Court. Next is Karan Bajwa. So recently, Google Cloud appointed Karan Bajwa as a leader of Asia Pacific region. Next is Merrick Garland. So recently, Merrick Garland became the so recently Merrick Garland. Has been nominated as the Attorney General of USA. Next is Donald Trump. So Twitter suspended the account of U.S. President Donald Trump. In another development, recently USA was also in news because of the Electoral College voting. So this was the final vote related to U.S. presidential elections. And in this voting, Joe Biden won 306 votes and Trump won. Trump won 232 votes. Next is Satya Paul. So recently, renowned fashion designer Satya Paul passed away. He was fashion designer, and he was popular for giving modern look to the Indian sari. Next is Ellen Burgess. So recently, Ellen Burgess passed away. He was the oldest living first-class cricketer. Next is Counter Terrorism Committee of UNSC, that is United Nations Security Council. So India is going to chair this committee in 2022. This committee was constituted after the 9/11 attack on USC. Next is. Chiktan this is in Kargil and it is the host that means this place is the host of Khelo India ice hockey tournament Kargil is a part of union territory of Ladakh next is Invit that is infrastructure investment trust so NHAI is going to operate this Invit NHAI is national highway authority of India it is under ministry of road transport and highways and this will be operational by March 2021 next is right under our nose So this is a book by RBI manager R Giridharan, 
and the name of book is right under our nose. Next is Pravasi Bharatiya Divas. So every year this Pravasi Bharatiya Divas is celebrated on 9th of January. This time it is 16th Pravasi Bharatiya Divas. Actually since 2015 the Pravasi Bharatiya Divas event is celebrated once every two years. So this time it was 16th PBD that is Pravasi Bharatiya Divas. Theme was contributing to the Atam Nirbhar Bharat. Now why this day is celebrated because in 1915 on 9th of January Gandhiji returned to India from South Africa and that is why this day is celebrated. So that was all for the day. Thank you.